Canopy Rivers, the idea of it is that there are so many great opportunities out there, but they may be at a stage where they need investment advice. The entrepreneurs aren't ready or they don't fit uh, into growth. They're just a great investment. And so the point of Rivers is to bring capital and capacity to make them go faster so that they turn out to be a leader in whatever segment of the market they are. And when I say segment, they could be a hemp play in Italy or an onboarding company which is doing, um, you know, how do we get communities in a company called Civilized down to really large uh, production platforms, uh, which we now have announced this morning as a, a supplier across our other platform companies. So it's really about um, torque across layers of the whole sector. Rivers has a huge advantage. It's headquartered in Canada. And Canada happens to be the headquarter of the best policy on the planet. And it's been able to access the policy and the capital markets to create a pool of capital and expertise, which it takes globally now. And so I think what you're going to see is this is one of those ones where um, people might want to buy it, put it in a drawer, and come back and check it in five years. This is not intended to be a little, I bought it this morning and sold it this afternoon. No, it's supposed to be a real business with real depth and structure. And so, you know, buy it, tuck it away. Maybe you or the uh, kids or grandkids should uh, look at it in five years. Challenges in the marijuana sector range from uh, how do you know that the company you're looking at isn't lying? And I say that because you as an investor have to actually be very thorough in what they say. And we are pretty expert at looking at them. But there's a lot of opportunities where people want to get rich quick. And what we want to do is build great companies. So first challenge is, do they have the chops to make it and take it all the way along? Second, you look at it and say, public policy is our, uh, our competitor. So until public policy is adopted around the globe, and now we're at about 30 countries that are doing it. You can't have a business like Rivers if you don't have a policy that structures medical and or adult access. And so we like places like, you know, Germany, uh, Italy, Canada, Australia, all, a lot of the South American, much more of Europe than I maybe mentioned. You need to have a good platform policy. So that's a challenge until they adopt it, until they understand it, you can't work. The great news is they come to Canada to learn and uh, it's all then about political will. So River's purpose is essentially, you could call it a parallel or a proxy to Google Ventures. And so what it does is it's, it's not just money, right? If you want to place bets, you can throw it at a VC. If you want to buy a pool, you can buy a, uh, you know, an ETF. If you actually want to have uh, high domain knowledge kind of coupled with uh, really good, well-structured capital, Rivers is the only entity that brings those two things together. And so I think for a lot of people, they should probably say, well, I'm going to buy a couple of pure plays, so I'm going to get a, uh, you know, a canopy portfolio, and I'm going to get a, a growth portfolio. I'm going to get a rivers portfolio contribution because it gives me diversity on a best efforts to pick the best winners, and maybe I'll buy a bit of an ETF. And I think that kind of mix is where we fit in, and it's, um, it's probably as an investor one of those things that you, you, know, you see as the meat in the middle of a, a high growth, high risk, or a meet all the market. Right here is rivers. I think for Rivers, it's, you know, it's going to see some of the early companies that they invested in have everything they produce get consumed. And it means on the 17th, then the next day will be the 18th. And they'll keep building stuff out, which becomes more IP, more product, more you know, eyes on their stock, more eyes on what they do, more opportunities. But uh, I would say politically, the 17th is a bigger deal than it is from a business operations perspective. It simply means that we have a bigger market and the whole world just keeps expanding. So what we're looking at is making sure when we put our money in that we're sort of top of the stack. We're not trying to be um, you know, unreasonable with the, uh, the, the entrepreneur, but we're gonna make sure that we structure this so our downside protection is part of our contemplation of how we invest. Um, when we look at um, what do they need, I think that's where they borrow from growth. And so when you take that kind of security control plus bringing a likelihood of success, um, that makes a good investment approach. So we could have listed other places, but I think the venture actually has good governance. And it's not their job to govern, they're a business. But uh, in the absence of really rigorous uh, regulatory oversight on the, the marijuana sector, uh, we like how the venture runs itself. And so uh, being here gives us a liquid stock, but I think it's also a step on having a high credibility stock. And we like the company we're in.